the trails are cold steel with me your girl no fuses uh last time we had some uh a tense moment between the between the maid and our teacher it was uh well, we had to defy uh um, not defy <laughs> decode some uh women's code there because they were staring at each other real intensely and now we're finding out about the midterm days cross my fingers I'm really hoping that I had a good score this time because I think the last test I did horribly. So let's get into it. <laughs> and if you guys like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. BB, Rex, Becky. So I'm not even on the board, so that's probably bad. Fifty-two. Oh, didn't do as bad as <laughs> I was afraid I would. I did pretty bad. I got fifty-two out of what? Out of a hundred students, so I'm slightly above average. Didn't do as bad as I was afraid of. I would. Emma and Maki is tied for the top score. Wait, they did? Oh, dang, they did. Rats, Machius. You always put up some impressive numbers. Nah, he's not gonna take that as a win. Not if he got like one point higher, he would take it as a win. He doesn't want to be tied. <laughs> Looks like you made good on your word after all. I suppose. Emma's the real natural, though. Oh, not at all. We both just really hit those books this last month. I'm glad everyone did so well. Agreed. I scored higher this last time than I did on the entrance exam. I suppose I'll have to settle for third this time. <laughs> you make it look easy, Eusis. Though I kind of expected you to score higher than you did. That makes two of us, man. Ah. That's okay. I didn't do so well either. <laughs> you did really well, Fee. You must have had all the basics down pretty well to have scored like you did. I was expecting a little better performance from a certain someone, though. <laughs> Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. I need to kick my study habits into high gear next time. We'll have to see if we can storm the gates of the Tower of Knowledge, V. I guess. If I feel like it. By the way, there's something If I feel like there. it. It seems class 7 had the highest average score. Excellent! I figure that might be the case, considering we have the Academy's top 3 high scorer. <laughs> you talk as if a class I'm a member of could possibly fail to place first. Why do you always have to be so full of yourself? Boys, boys! I think we should be proud of what we've accomplished. Me too. Good work, everyone. Hip hip hooray. <laughs> it's like, I don't really care. How could the pride of the Empire's nobility lose to those plebeians? And Elisa, thinking she could hide her roots that easily. Oh, he might be up to something. He's a little, he's a little salty. Oh, so now the whole school knows about her roots. Now they're like, they're feeling, they're all feeling salty now. Achievers, congrats on your amazing performance on the midterms. I'll cherish that grumpy look on the vice principal's face forever. That'll teach him to poke his nose into my business. We didn't do all that work just so you could stick it to him, you know. Besides, you bring most of it on yourself. Ugh, always tromping around like he owns the place with that smarmy mustache of his. I mean, he is the vice principal. I bet he could. It's one thing to gripe about work. But where does he get off telling me what to wear and how to behave in a bar? Now he keeps telling me 
I need to hurry up and get married. Yeah, I'll marry my foot to your face, jackass. <laughs> anyway, is everyone ready to leap boldly into this month's practical exam? I'm fully prepared, instructor. I can take whatever task you have to throw at us. Ah, <sighs> well, at least this ought to be easier than the midterms. Here we go again. This one looks different from the others. Hold on. Ooh, yeah, it does look similar to that. Yeah. Color's different, shape's different, yet it seems similar somehow. The material, that's what's similar. Maybe... Is something wrong? <laughs> Turns her head. New? Here they go again. <laughs> well, doesn't this look like fun? And she, she even looked away and look at him, this dude. <sighs> this jackass. Class one. What are they doing here? To what do we owe the pleasure of this visit? Class one's combat training isn't until tomorrow. Oh, Instructor Thomas's class was changed to a self-study period today. So we thought it was the perfect opportunity for a little cross-class exchange, if you will. Class 7 seems to be the talk of the school lately. And we'd simply love the chance to get a little better acquainted. E exchange Judging by that rapier in your hand, I'm guessing you're not here to exchange pleasantries over tea and cookies. My, you're a sharp one, Schwarzer. Nothing gets by you. Why not try your steel against some real human opponents instead of that contraption? We'd be more than happy to serve as representatives of Class One. Allow us, if you will, to demonstrate the refined spirit and dignity of the Erebonian nobility. <laughs> you little pieces of. <laughs> They're just trying to goad us into a fight. I'd be very interested to witness this refined spirit and dignity you profess. Oh, she's like, oh, bring it on. Well, looks like I found today's entertainment. <laughs> All right, change of plans. Today's practical exam will be a friendly training bout between classes one and seven. The fight will be four on four, with both arts and item use allowed. Green, you'll be squad captain, so choose three of your classmates for your team. Roger that. Ooh, who do I want to use? I definitely want Aliso on my team. Uh, waifu. Uh, I need two. I need a heavy hitter and a long range person. She's definitely a heavy hitter. Um, my long range peoples. Uh, I'm gonna go with him. I haven't used him yet in the schoolhouse, I'm gonna use him in this one. All right, let's do this. I just like the notion of fighting against women. Too bad. It's a man's duty to protect the fragile flowers of womanhood, not to wound them. Reconsider your team, and this time, bring men to face us. Who the hell does he think he is? I'll put a fragile flower on his grave. How <laughs> She's like, I'm insulted. 
guess this isn't going to happen until I do as he insists. Are you serious? So he only wants the guys on his team? Ugh, that very limits my options here. Bam, bam, bam. What was the point of me choosing if he gets to choose for me? Hmm. He should have been among the ranks of class one to begin with. I would rather hope a son of House Alvarea would need no demonstration of the nobility's refined spirit and dignity. Choose again. What? One would almost think you're trying to postpone the inevitable. It looks like fighting someone from another of the four great houses might keep biting off more than he can chew. Looks that way. It makes me wonder who they won't conjure up some excuse for. I mean, there's only two options! Oh wait, no, no there isn't. Wait. Okay. There! You happy now? Yeah, we're gonna save right quick. I'm pretty sure I can kiss, I kick their ass, but just in case. Looks like you're all set then. Both teams, take your starting positions. <laughs> He may be a fool, but even a fool can be dangerous with a blade in hand. And I'm sure his lackeys are well trained, whatever deficiencies they may have otherwise. Make sure you don't underestimate them. Got it. Well, he is a member of the fencing club, after all. <laughs> we'll see how cocksure he feels when we're through with him. Let's have a good fight, everyone. Oh, this ought to be good. I'll show you what real is. Meet the following conditions. No one is knocked out during the battle. No one uses arts throughout the battle. Okay, so we can't use our arts and we can't get knocked out. Dang. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Keep it up, everyone! It's my turn. <laughs> my turn. Stop him. Leave it to me. How about this? Go. I'll pick you up. Oh, I can get all four. It's my turn. How about this? My turn. 
turn. Don't get knocked yep. out. Don't get knocked out. No! No, 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 no. All right. I said don't get knocked out. You know what? Forget it. If he's going to get knocked out, we might as well. Barely did anything. Open. It's my turn. How about this? This is absurd. Leave it to me. Really? Here we go. 
There. It's my turn. How about this? It's my turn. Leave it to me. Now. Yep. My turn. Oh my god, you're being annoying. Takes care of that. Conditions met. Begin battle with insight status. Okay. I thought because he got knocked Just out, started. it didn't mean. But, but it says conditions met. I'm so confused at what it means by knocked out. Envelopes foes in turbulent winds. Oh, that's nice. Ours. Yeah, we showed them. Not bad. A passable performance. <sighs> that was some fight. We won. We really won. How does it taste choking down your own hubris? This can't be happening. How could we lose to this... this rabble? <sighs> was a good pretty intense too you had us on the defensive more than a few times if we get another chance sometime how get your filthy hands off me and I was like uh oh don't you dare start acting like you're above me Reed Schwarzer just because Ymir's Lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. <laughs> you son of a... Uh, th that was uncalled for. The rest of you are no better. Did you somehow think scoring highest on the exams would mask the fact that you crawled up from the dregs of society? What if you run it? A family of upstart arms peddlers who think being flush with money is all the pedigree they need. And what of the Barbarian and your Jaeger taught? I'm surprised they could even read the enrollment forms. What the hell? I won't 
deny how the Reinfern Company made its millions. Am I the Jaeger Tot? <laughs> Am I the Jaeger Tot? Terrible things to say. Patrick? I think you might have crossed the line. Silence! You don't tell me what I can and can't say. How utterly foul. Enough of this. I'm not sure I understand. Maybe you can clear things up. Uh-oh. What is it about nobles that makes them superior to those who aren't? <sighs> Gaius? I won't deny that I'm not from this country. That's as plain as the nose on my face. Back in my homeland, we don't really have anything like your class system. So the concept is pretty foreign to me. Really, I mean no offense by asking. But I want to know what it is that elevates nobles above the rest of the people. <laughs> the superiority of nobles is self-evident. We come from families of distinguished lineage built on generations of tradition. That gives us a dignity, refinement, and pride that those of common birth could never hope to possess. We represent the pinnacle of man's achievement. That is what makes us nobles. I've witnessed that dignity and refinement myself. I see it in how Laura and Eusis carry themselves. But that leads me to another question. I can understand the importance of tradition, lineage, dignity, pride. I get why those would matter. But where do you think they let you get off saying the kinds of things you did? I... I... Guys. Hmm. Patrick, I... I... I really think you should... This raises an excellent question. I'd say this marks the end of our mock battle. Many thanks to the members of Class 1 for their gracious cooperation. Oh, and just for future reference, self-study doesn't mean wander around outside doing whatever you want. That goes for you two over there, too. Back to the classroom with you. Yes, Instructor? Please excuse us. I've decided that for your combat training tomorrow, I'll be pointing out everything you did wrong today. I'll be giving you the full, shameful play-by-play, -play, of course. But I want you to really think about where you need to improve. <sighs> Very well. Excuse us. Patrick! W -w wait for us! worried that was really gonna get ugly yeah but his, his boys didn't have him though they were like you really crossed the line that that's ooh. they're they're like you need to apologize right now even we wouldn't have crossed that line that's when his boys were like you know what if these people beat you up we're just gonna stand back and watch because you're you deserve whatever's coming at you as far as i'm concerned it already had this is exactly why I can't stand nobles. Please, don't place me in the same category as that imbecile. Thanks, Gaius. That... Huh? Not sure why you're thanking me. But whatever I did, I'm glad to have helped. Okay, that concludes this month's practical exam. Next, I'll be giving you the locations for your next field study. Oh, yes, it had almost slipped my mind. Where to this month? And who are we getting this time? Everyone, take one of these. Hmm. Okay, group A is Reen, Alyssa, Emma, Eusis, Gaius. Okay, don't really see any problem with this group. Machias, Elliot, Laura. Ooh, Group B, though. Ah, Laura and Fee aren't doing so well with each other right now. Why, why would you do this, Sarah? Why? Island. That's in the far west of the Empire, isn't it? Indeed. It's an island off the coast of Lemaire Province, known for its ruins. However... 
<laughs> they don't want to be stuck together. The North Highlands are beyond the Empire's northeastern borders, are they not? That's right. They're out past Ruer on the other side of the border. Since the Age of Antiquity, the Highlands have been home to a tribe of nomads. Yeah, now that you mention it. You're from the North Highlands, aren't you, Gaius? Oh, so we're going to Gaius' homeland. Sure am. We've actually made arrangements for everyone in Group A to stay at my home in our settlement. I hope you'll all enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Your rank's gone up. I still don't know how I met all the requirements. Wow, that must have been tough. Still, I couldn't believe it when I saw Nord Highlands written right next to our names. I wasn't ever expecting our field studies to take us that far out. Well, it does make sense, since it's an important place in the history of the Academy's founder, Emperor Dracul. Indeed. The Highlands are where he first began to solidify his military power during the War of the Lions. That's about the extent of my knowledge of the Highlands, to be honest. No worries. I'll tell you more about Nord on the way there. Anyway... I hope you're all ready for a long trip. The train ride between here and there is over eight hours. Eight hours? That's almost an entire day's journey. It sounds as though the experience will be more than worth the trouble, though. By the time we get there, it'll probably be evening already. You think we should go stock up on some snacks before we leave? <laughs> There'll be no need for that, Lady Lisa. Good morning, Sharon. We're almost ready to head out to the station. Oh, of course, of course. I hope you all have a safe journey. I would also be very pleased if you would accept this. What is it? I took the liberty of preparing some sandwiches for all of you, as well as a pot of lemon tea for each group. I'm afraid I wasn't able to fix a proper breakfast, so I hope you'll enjoy these on the train instead. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Man, she is the best maid ever, always Such prepared. Such a thoughtful caretaker. We'd be more than happy to accept them. Oh, think nothing of it. Any good maid would do as much. <sighs> well, well, everyone sure loves you, don't they? I guess my objecting to you being here just made you work that much harder to cozy up to everyone else. <laughs> I would never dream of such a thing. Please have a safe and pleasant journey, my lady. I'll be counting the hours until your return. Fine, fine, I'm leaving. Hold on. You aren't plotting anything else, are you? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Yeah, if you say so. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Have a safe journey. <laughs> Please excuse us. The dormitory's in your hands while we're away. Took off then. Good morning, Lady Sarah. Would it have been too much to see them off if you were awake this whole time? Their field study begins the moment they wake up on the day of their departure. So, since I'm responsible for grading their performance, I figured it was best to leave them to their own devices. I see. You make a valid point. Just one question for you When will you be returning? Mm -hmm. Ah, you truly are perceptive, Lady Sarah. I suppose there is no reason not to tell you. I will be returning before my lady and her classmates do. That's as much as I can tell you. I see. Oh, so she's going away too.
all right so it's off to the train station in which we will do in the next video yes i ran out of time and i'm still mind boggled how i passed that exam i really am because it said not to get knocked out unless it was another term of knocked out like maybe like you know that confusion type state that they get in sometimes maybe it was that which is why i still passed with full marks because I was just like, I was about to start over the entire battle. I was so mad when freaking Elliot went down for the count. I was like, oh my god. And I didn't want to use all my terror bombs either. But yeah, we're going to go ahead into this nice little train station in the next video. And if you guys like this video or this series, then please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Bye, see you later.